Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. We have a new offering from Olight. This is the Olamp Night Tour. Now, I've been playing with the prototype of this product for over a year now, and I'm happy to be able to finally let you know that they are releasing this, and it is absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look here at the very top of the packaging here. Transform your home vibes. Colorful, convertible, rechargeable LED lamp. That's a look at the packaging. It's in a tall box. On the side here, you can see that it comes with a two-year warranty. And then, of course, on this other side, it gives you some applications that you can use this for. So you can use it for like a, a light. Maybe you're going to do dinner, a reading lamp, a night light. And then right here, it does some magnetic charging on things like the Baton 3, things like the Obol BMC and more flashlights uh, to come that will utilize this magnetic charging on this light. Go ahead and pause your screen if you wish to read any of this information. I'm gonna go ahead and move on up and show you some of the features. And then again, the pause button could be your friend if you wanna hang on to any of this information. This is the specifications of the light. I'll be talking about this a little bit more in this video. And then, of course, right there, you have the contact information for Olight. So on the back of the packaging, there's a little arrow right here. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And we see here this little tab here. We're going to pull that out. And let's take a look and see what's in this little box right off the bat we're going to find out what's included in this little tiny box nothing left in the box so we have a user's manual for the night tour gives you kind of a breakdown of what we're looking at right here are some specifications of the light right here is some danger and warnings and things like that little bit more on the specifications <clears throat> right here is a product overview gives you kind of a glimpse of the product talks about a little bit of things how to operate the lamp and then of course right here the lamp head installation and that's where you can plug in your old bulb mc or your baton 3 right there very cool and then right here's a little bit more operation information some information on charging and unlocking it so very cool and then here is some information on the bottom light indicator the next thing that we see here in this package is a I believe a USB-C charging cable Whoop, almost dropped that so you got USB-C right there so that's cool you use this cable to charge this unit. So here's a look at this little card. This is pretty cool. Talks about lamp head installation, charging and unlock, night tour toggle switch, and the button on the lamp head itself. So very cool, very cool little chart there, little card that you get. So the next thing that we see, we're going to pull these two little tabs. There's nothing left in the packaging as you can see, but we do have this. So we're just going to unfold this stuff very simply. And right here you can see this is the top portion. 
and it's just just push your thumb through just push your thumb right through like that and it pops right out set that aside and this is the top portion so we'll take the plastic off right quick and that is a little LED module this is 90 lumens and it's a rechargeable unit this has its own battery in it this one is a 3.7 volt 100 milliamp hour built-in battery in here so you can charge this thing it probably needs a charge the next thing that we see is the lamp stand portion itself you can see that everything is packaged very well nice and good packaging and let's go ahead and take this apart where do we get that part right here on the bottom here so let's open this up just pull that tape off right there and now this should slide straight out the bottom of this little bag now this one this is the lamp unit itself and this is kind of neat right here night tour and this is like a suction cup so if you have a, a, a nice surface you can push that down and it'll stick it's actually stuck down to the table right there I mean it's not moving so very very tight very cool there is the toggle switch itself right here is the LED that is our charging indicator and then up at the top right there that is the portion that will tilt very nice this they made some big changes on this model versus the prototype that I used and the prototype was fantastic from what I can see right now they've taken a good thing and made it even better we will begin charging this unit so charging we're gonna go ahead and just plug it right into the back and that's USB-C give it a second and you see that it illuminated red red is telling us it's charging and then when charging is complete that'll change to green now to install the lamp head for the reading portion of the light this thing has a built-in battery in itself it's got a 3.7 volt 100 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery so we're just going to set that up and if you notice right here we have a red indicator that's telling us that we're charging that portion as well now this main portion battery that we're charging right now has a 4000 milliamp hour capacity battery we can turn this light on up top by pushing the button and you'll notice hopefully you can see that that light is on then if I push and hold we'll cycle through the modes it's a ramping style so we can go all the way to the brightest setting and then push and hold and it'll go all the way down to the lowest setting so very cool and I like that you can tilt this head up to 90 degrees very cool now the white light which is this portion right here this will go anywhere from 8 to 60 lumens. On this white light, you can get a total run time of 31 hours. Now, if you want to go up, you'll change and you'll get into the RGB colored modes. And these modes are anywhere from 2 to 10 lumens, and they can last upwards of 15 hours of run time. Just push the toggle up, and you'll switch through the modes different colors and stuff like that so very very cool I like this a lot push it down and the light turns off push it down again you'll get to white if you double press downwards you'll switch to colored modes on on there as well and the difference between these colored modes and the other modes is this one is more like a gradient kind of thing so very cool you just double press downward that is super cool I like the way that looks if you want to go back to white just double press again single press turns it off lift it up and you'll get into that RGB color thing it's very cool the camera I don't know if the camera is gonna justify 
what this unit does because it's very, very cool. The length of the light from the bottom all the way to the top is 396.4 millimeters or 15.61 inches. If you want to look at the base diameter here, we're looking at 85 millimeters or 3.35 inches and it's got it's it's very stable the weight of the unit is 420 grams or 14.82 ounces and that weight is not including this lamp head okay it doesn't include that so we're going to go there just turn that off this unit does have a 4000 milliamp hour battery you can use this this lamp head as a reading light and again you can angle that up to 90 degrees so very cool you can really get this angled just about any direction you want and i think it's super cool you can go all the way up to 90 degrees so if you got a book right here you can adjust the brightness to whatever level of brightness you want and you can sit there and read your book very cool and also if you have like a baton 3 you could stick that there and use the switch to operate that light as well in the same fashion you just push and hold and it'll cycle through the modes by ramping just like before and then single press turns it off it does have a memory and then of course you can go up all the way to the brightness level double press doesn't do anything triple press doesn't do anything it's just a ramping function but that's cool you can get a lot of light on your hands here I, I think it's fantastic I think it's a really cool option and you can do the same thing with an old bulb I don't know how the old bulb MC actually works um, but I'm also noticing a red indicator here at least I was a second ago right there that red indicator is telling me that I'm charging my baton 3. So that's cool. This light is absolutely fantastic. Now, while we're charging this unit, I want to take this lamp head off real quick. And I want to show you that you can turn this on by double shaking it. One, two. See the light turns on. And then if you want to turn it off, you double shake it. So double shake turns it on and double shake turns it off. I think that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and let that charge though. Okay, while we're talking about charging, I want to take a focus real quick on this indicator right here. This is the one that the USB-C, this charges this whole unit. This indicator will turn red when it's charging, and when charging is complete, it'll change from red to green. This top indicator is red when charging, and when charging is complete, it will turn off. It does not turn green. Now you can change the brightness levels of the RGB lighting. So when you turn this on, if you want it dimmer, you just push and hold this down and it'll get dimmer. If you want it brighter, you just push and hold it up and it'll get brighter. And then again, if you're going to cycle through modes and you want to decrease the brightness, you just push and hold it down. You see how it got dimmer. And then again, to increase, you push and hold it up. So very cool. I like that switch. And then if you push it and you turn it on and then you double press it downwards, you're going to get into the to the colored modes again. And the same thing applies. You want it dimmer, you just push and hold it down. You want it brighter, you just push and hold it up. Single press turns it off. Single press brings you right back to white light. Again, you hold it up to get brighter. Down to dim the light. So folks, my final thoughts on this light. This is a huge improvement over the prototype that I've been using for over a year. I love the fact that you can easily adjust the brightness level no matter what mode you're on simply by toggling and holding up or toggling and holding down. It's very, very easy to understand. Up for brighter, down for less bright. Double pressing gets you into the colored modes. Uh, single press turns it off. Single press upward turns it on to these really cool colors. And I just love this light. One thing that I forgot to make note of is in reference to the lamp head right here. 
this lamp head does not work if the USB-C is not connected to the lamp, okay? And I'm saying in by using this switch. So if I try to turn this, this light on right now, it's not going to do anything. I'm pushing the switch. I can use the light by doing the shake method thing to turn the light on, but then I'm limited to just the low that it comes on. Now that does still provide a pretty decent amount of light if I wanted to read at night or something like that. So it's still usable. You're just not able to ramp up and down or use this switch to turn it on or off when your USB-C is not connected. I just set that down on the table and that thing really connects very solid. It's a very uh, soft kind of cushiony silicone kind of feel to it. Very, very effective. So folks, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today on this video. This product is awesome. This is not plastic. This is all aluminum housing. It's very, very solid. I like the way they built it. I think it's going to do great things. I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find this. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful to you. If you like the type of content that you see on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, click that notification bell, and you'll see me on the next video. So with all that being said, folks, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. I think this thing is fantastic, and I think they're going to sell a lot of them. We'll see you later. Bye for now.